Kimani Ishungwa is the leader of majority in parliament and he is President Ruto's most loyal psychophant. And unless you want to go for Ruto's jugular, you should not question Kimani Ishungwa. Kimani Ishungwa has become untouchable, has become unquestionable, and he has become almost as infallible. Because questioning him inadvertently is interpreted as questioning Ruto. No, I mean, I know uh, no, no, no. William you, Ruto is the fifth no, president. If you, if you have you are saying the yes. fifth president will no, talk no, to no, him. Please, don't have emphasis because you remember <laughs> our friend died in Lenona <laughs> No, nobody the one, the one that they buried with a torch. Yes. On. You remember that yes, our friend I Jacob? Yeah, yes. So I don't want to go into those uh, books. Yes. So don't overemphasize. You uh, might make them realize what I'm saying. No, and not. they can get me in my bed. <laughs> <laughs>
became the errant kid who refuses the authority of the father mm -hmm. by inviting young people to revolt against Uhuru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. to revolt against Raila, to revolt against Jirongos, mm -hmm. to revolt against Karuas, mm -hmm. to revolt against basically everybody who was in Azimio, mm -hmm. which was a protege of Uhuru, of Uhuru Kenyatta. So at Bagwigwi was very popular. And young people actually loved it. That we are to this is a twenty pango. This is gonna hustle. At Wesley took a pango and a mabazu. At Wesley Pango and a dynasty. So but uh, if that song would be repeated today, mm. it would invite uh, some of your uh, dental formula badly disfigured. Mm. Because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. because, because, because Sasa wame pango kabisa, wame to share bahasha, mm -hmm. that William is arranging them the way they did, even the regime former did not arrange them that way. Because, and to be honest, uh, Mashimua, mm. you would see that the things that William promised that generation of young people as that he would do for them, so that they refuse to be pangoured by the existing regime, they haven't happened. In any case, there has been more and more pain, mm -hmm. more and more frustration, mm -hmm. more and more disillusionment, mm -hmm. near hopelessness. And that's why, I'm, that's why I accepted your invitation to appear here, so that after all mm -hmm. is said and done, we can still encourage that desperate and that disillusioned generation of Hatupangwingui, mm -hmm. whom are now lying in desolate corners, totally pangward. Mm -hmm. William Ruto has pangered them in, uh, in stocks, in parks. Yes, even Uhuru Kenyatta and Moi, mm -hmm. and uh, Jomo Kenyatta and Kibaki never pangered them the way he has pangered them. <laughs> this fellow has really stashed them in, in, in buckets and put them in, uh, in parks. So I think of all the things that we must do, we must never forget to encourage them and give them hope. But yet, the present may be disillusioning, but the future still lies a North Star. And I hope that North Star... Kenya will still be there, be either way. Yes. It doesn't really matter. Yes. Kenya will be there. But Kenya will be there. After myself, yes. after you, yes. after everybody, yes. Kenya will still be there. The country lives on. I talked to a friend of mine, he's a member of parliament. Yes. And he was telling me, uh, out of uh, Tamak roads being done, yes. The Mount Kenya region took a thousand kilometers, mm. and the Rift Valley took two thousand kilometers. Mm. And uh, the DP mm. has uh, been clear also mm. that uh, we are shareholders. Yes. This is a company mm. we put in our votes, <laughs> and uh, that uh, guaranteed by shares. Guaranteed by shares, guaranteed and, by shares and guaranteed by shares, yes. and uh, therefore mm. I'm reaping for my people. Mm. Mm. How feasible is it? One, William Ruto has cancelled those roads. It is important for, I don't know when you talk with your, MP, your friend MP, but uh, these things were cancelled on Friday because of the skewedness that has happened. Because even within the same Kikuyus and Mount Kenya, they are skewed towards his uh, co-digesters. I'll give you an example mm -hmm. in Kiambu. 97% mm -hmm. of roads budget mm -hmm. through Kera mm -hmm. and Kura that had been set up for Kiambu County, because roads are given per county. Mm. It is easier for that way to give resources. 97% went to a constituency in Kikui. MPs from as far as Thika. Many constituencies or one constituency? There are 12, one constituency in Kikuyu, led by Kimani Ishungwa. Kimani Ishungwa is the leader of majority in parliament, and he is President Ruto's most loyal psychophant. But let me ask you, there was the issue of 1.4 billion yes. being bu budgeted for central province, mm. and it ended up that 1.4 billion yes. was budgeted for Kikuyu. That, that is it. If you move in Kikuyu, mm. can you see development of 1.4 billion? It is not there. In your thinking, yeah. is it possible for a constituency mm. to consume 1.4 billion? No, it's not possible. And not on main roads. Yeah. On, on the, 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 the feeder roads, the feeder small roads. roads. It's not possible. And that's what I'm telling you. That 1.4 went to Kikuyu. Remember, out of the 4 billion that was supposed to go to Mount Kenya, if 1.4 goes to Kikuyu, then that is already 90, over 95% of what is supposed, out of the 4 billion, maybe 1.8 was going to Kikuyu, to Kiambu County. Out, maybe 1.8 out of 4, so that the rest can go to other counties. Out of what came to Kikuyu, the guy gobbled it all. But you, you can go to Kiku. From here, actually, Kiku is not far. It they begins just across the road. Mm. Just go and tell me anything new happening. Go and tell me roads being built. 
go and show me the feeder loads being tarmacked. So where go did the 1.4 billion go? Last year, uh, which was their second year of uh, fiscal year of implementation, that question has been asked by Auditor General without an answer. But who can question President Ruto's Kotia? Who? Who can question? Not even the Deputy President. Mm -hmm. Even the Governor of this county, Kiambu, cannot question that man. Mm -hmm. Because they know he is President Ruto's shadow. And unless you want to go for Ruto's jugular, you should not question Kimani Shongwa. Kimani Shongwa has become untouchable, has become unquestionable, and he has become almost as infallible. Because questioning him inadvertently is interpreted as questioning Ruto. And I'll give an example. Twelve members of parliament went to see President Ruto. Mm -hmm. And they told him, this man, and he was not invited, this man is taking all the money for the roads. Mm -hmm. So we who support you are not even benefiting. Leave alone the people who did not support you. We who support you in this company are not uh, benefiting. My roads in uh, uh, Juja, for instance, you know Juja is the most mm. poorly connected uh, mm. constituency in, Ken in, in Mount Kenya. And it's next to Nairobi. And just here next. And it's the bedroom that mm. is supposed to, be, to become the, our, be our bedroom for the bulging city. These roads are no longer there. L let me tell you this, Mr. Cyrus. And I tell you this without uh, bias. Mm. President Uhuru Kenyatta is accused of having gone overboard in terms of acquiring loads. Mm -hmm. This is what these people are happy and uh, fond of saying. Mm -hmm. Fair enough, people say it is true. Ah, it is true, Madeni ilikuwa mingi sana. Mm -hmm. But the same people who say Madeni ilikuwa mingi sana, the masses, can tell you towards the second term of Uhuru Kenyatta, Kenya was a construction site. Mm -hmm. For those people who fly, like for you flying from Kisumu, mm -hmm. although these days you guys are lucky you can fly from Kakamega. Mm -hmm. Those people who fly from Kisumu, you could see down there, Yellow tractors yeah, yeah. trying to construction site. Wakichimba barabara. Mm -hmm. Yes, so that loan alone is not bad. I don't know one man without a loan in this world, mm -hmm. except a poor person. Mm -hmm. People who have money have loans. Mm -hmm. So a country that has loans, the only question we should ask: What is the value for the loans? For Uhuru, he did answered. They, them. Did they become productive? Those it, loans. That's what is the question. This is a question that is good to ask. Mm -hmm. Now, these people have taken so much loans, and I hope we can discuss that matter towards the end. They have taken the loans. They have collected taxes more than what who was collecting because they have imposed uh, obnoxious taxes. Mm -hmm. What is being done? Come to Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. Even go to Elgin Marakot, where the cabinet secretary for road come from. Mm -hmm. Go and see anything. Just tell me how many roads are being built. Go to Mount Kenya. Uhuru left. 500 kilometers mm -hmm. of roads mm -hmm. that he wanted to leave as a legacy for the people who fought for the independence mm -hmm. called Momo Roads. Mm -hmm. I have built my village home mm -hmm. along one of those roads. Mm -hmm. When Uhuru exited, he left money to complete those roads in my area now, Muranga, because they touch Kiambu, and Akuru, uh, Kiambu Muranga, Nyeri. That's why uh, Kiambu, Nyandarwa, Muranga, Nyeri. I come from Muranga. So in Muranga, that roads, uh, th those roads uh, happened in Kenyona. You would know a man who was called Chief Njiri, mm. where he came from. Mm. The Maumau were hiding under the, the Nyandaro forest, which mm. we call Abadea. Mm. Those roads that they used to use to go and fight and come back and do ambushes and do what, those were the roads that were supposed to be given in honor of the freedom fighters, whom in America are called veterans, so in the Europe. Mm. These people, Uhuru left money that was supposed to complete those roads. When Ruto came, if you remember, mm. he assumed power under the mantra of cut down the budget. Mm. And the budget that Uhuru had left, mm -hmm. 3.2, mm. he removed 300 billion, if you remember. Mm. As, as, as a matter of austerity, he said, mm -hmm. I am removing these 3 billion, 300 billion from the budget mm. so that we can start saving and paying loans. Because this country, Ime Toboka, Hakuna Pesa, Ime Hakuku na Emte Coffee, remember those uh, mm. man, nonsense mantra. Mm. So he removed money. Part of this 300 billion that was removed, it was more money. But you people said, the central province, we are shareholders of this government. This is now what I'm yeah. putting into context. Yeah. You are right, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm putting into context as a son, mm. bona fide mm. of the mountain. I am putting it clear to you that what you should now start understanding from today, and then I invite my viewers to join you, mm. is that when they said shares, they did not mean the shares for the mountain. 
they mend the shares for their stomachs. It is important that we start understanding it that way. When Kashagwa say we are shareholders, we is a him and his stomach. When the Denyoro says shareholders, it is him and his stomach. Mm -hmm. When Ishungwa and uh, Mother, uh, no, no, this uh, this this uh, Anu Waiguru mm -hmm. and Susan Kiheka and uh, all these other people, Moses Kuria, it is not anything. And that is why Kuria now has bolted. Mm -hmm. Because the shareholding mm -hmm. that he had in this government has been removed. It is his shareholding. He's been removed from a lucrative ministry of trade. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he was saying the other day he has been uh, sent to a ministry that only send women to maternity, that to give maternity to public service. Mm -hmm. That his work is... But that's a service to the people of Kenya. No, no, to him, it mm -hmm. was not about service. Mm -hmm. To Kashagwa, it was never about service. They didn't come to take power to offer services. They came to government to become like dynasties, to earn money that can make them be regarded, to get land near like the dynasties they mentioned. They didn't come to government for hustlers or wanjiko. They came to government for themselves. If they can prove me wrong today, I will never be in this again. If they can prove me wrong, if they can start no, with all the money we have collected, we can do this. And we, we can finish the Mau Mau roads. Mau Mau. We have added these. In my own area. Yes. Do you know who is doing Mau Mau And we've been rich. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, do you know who is doing Mau Mau? No. Credit must be given. Mm. What has happened now? Because Mau Mau had been done almost to the final level of putting up the bitumen. Mm -hmm. when, you know when the road is about to be put the bitumen? Mm -hmm. Even cement has been put. Yes. Maram has been put. Mm -hmm. So if it rains mm -hmm. and there is nothing put, what happens? Worse, it becomes like gallows. Mm. It becomes so bad, mm. even worse than before. Mm. Because those roads serve tea zones mm -hmm. where farmers have their tea. Mm -hmm. I mean, being the highlands, you know. Mm -hmm. Do you know who are doing those roads? Because mm. nothing can pass. No. It's Kenya Tea Development Agency. It's the one KTDA. that is going, KTD is the one that is going, putting maram, maram, maram in a strip, not in the entire road, in a stream so that their lorries can go to the picking, tea picking areas and take it to the factory. So that other motorists are only using that. Myself, Where I come from? I've been using this. Where I come from? Yes. Everybody accuses you. says, ah, these guys are enjoying, after all, their shareholders. They share everything with their brothers, the Kalenjin. Yes. Yes. They are the main shareholders. Yes. As even if we get crumbs, yes. uh, really. <laughs> it's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so <laughs> we have two or so representing us there. The yes. But the really people, who are getting development. Mm -hmm. uh, Mount Kenya and yeah, Kenya. yeah, Mount Kenya and uh, Rift Valley. And that business has changed in Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. That the, 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 the hustler, the small woman, yes, your mother, the one who used to sell cabbage. Yes, has today, become big. Today she's so big, she has a wholesale. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what we are told in the village. Now she's driving a Harrier. Yeah, she's driving a Harrier. Living in a three bedroom bungalow. I'm telling you. And contributing to circles. To circles. I'm money. told that. This is called the dream of the wicked. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shock me. <laughs> I'm not <going> to <laughs> But that's what people in the village tell us. You know, you know uh, there's a lady I love so much mm -hmm. uh, who is a uh, Nigerian. Mm -hmm. Has written a book. The lady is called Chimama and mm -hmm. Has written a book called The Americana. Uh -huh. She has narrated a story mm -hmm. of how she went to America to study. Mm -hmm. And because she had been a native um, uh, Igbo, mm -hmm. when she landed in America, mm -hmm. the shock mm -hmm. she found mm -hmm among us, the Native Americans, mm -hmm. was overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Because, first he said, the majority of those uh, Americans mm -hmm. believe that Africa is a country. Mm -hmm. That Africa is one country where you no, can go and some get of them, to... including yes. George Bush. Yes. George Bush believed yes. Africa is a country inside Nigeria. <laughs> if you don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. Yeah. That's even worse. So then he also found that young people in America mm -hmm. really believe that Africans have tails. Tails. Yes, tails. Mikia. We are monkeys. Uh, small children. No, yeah. Not what we are but small children. She that is believed in America. That, that's what she was written in the book. Uh -huh. But she found out uh -huh. that the things Americans <laughs> think about Africa, uh -huh. she did not believe she was an African. So she has written a, a very good, a very well narrative that she has called uh -huh. the danger uh -huh. of a single story. The danger of a single story. The danger of a single story. That yes. what you have been hearing. Yes. You give it to your children, yes. then they pass on to their children. Yes. But you never took time to find out that single story. To verify. To verify. So you hear people say, uh, William Ruto in 1992 mm -hmm. employed Jirongo mm -hmm. in his companies. Mm -hmm. 
and that is how you became president. But he was still a student. No, no, was... that is it. Now you are going to. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. The story uh -huh. goes that way, and it will go to other people, go to other people. That Ruto is a very good man. He also helped Jiroko a lot. Mm -hmm. But on the contrary, the man who helped William Ruto was Jiroko. Mm -hmm. He's the one who hired him, yeah. sent him into an era. You know, this story that I do not want to speak here. But the fact of the matter is that the danger of a single story goes towards cementing stereotypes and perpetuating That have ignorance. not been verified. They are not verified. People yes. just need to come to Mount Kenya today. Mm. They just need to come to Mount Kenya today and see, first of all, whether there are roads. But they are happy they okay. have a deputy president. I'm told uh, when Kachago arrives, Mount Kenya goes on fire. Muto uh, Muria, Mudamaki. That's what you are told. Let me ask you, mm. can Kachago go to Mount Kenya without Muto? And have a rally. You, you can prove me wrong. Mm. The people watching me can go to YouTube and show me one place where Gashagwa went to Mount Gashagwa only goes alone in Mount Kenya during barriers mm -hmm. and during churches. Mm -hmm. But if there are political developmental tours, mm -hmm. only William Ruto mm -hmm. can amass enough crowd for them to address. And how does he amass it now? Mm. He bribes them. Everybody coming out to president's meeting has a thousand shillings. But I've been told in Dindinora is damn popular because he's done a very good job at his constituency. Which job? Uh, CDF is the best manager. Very ever. good. Okay. What is he doing in CDF? He has developed his place. He's changed it. You know CDF is not uh, at the whims of the member of parliament. Mm. He's only a patron. Mm. CDF is already structured how it should work. Mm -hmm. So if he's giving money no, to... No, the member of parliament the plays a role. Yeah, he, uh, to guide the to process. Guide, yes. But he cannot allocate more money than the law require. Mm -hmm. So if he says he has built all the schools and every child will pay a thousand mm -hmm. and he's using CDF, mm -hmm. is he not taking people for a fool? Other oh, members of parliament would want to do that. But the money allocated is 35% in bursary, 20% in school development infrastructure. So you want to tell me the 1.4 billion yes. budgeted for some small roads, yes. feeder roads. Yes. Yes. Is part of what is being used in the Nyoro's place the, yes, to do development. To, to, no, to, no, 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 not that one. Yeah. Uh, Nyoro is doing something different. Yeah. Where is he raising the money? He is the chairman of budget committee. Yes. He is asking for kickbacks to pay pending bills. And William Ruto is also giving him huge chunks of money to appear popular in Mount Kenya to do things that no member of parliament. But he has a deputy there to do that. Yeah, yeah that is it because he's fighting him. Who doesn't know this, Cyrus? I don't know. I am telling you now. That's why you invited me here. To tell you what it is in the mountain. That I was fought as a vice president. Yes. And I'm now fighting another vice president. Yes. Deputy president, yes, not vice. Yes, because he, he, he was never fought. No, but he cried. It, it, yeah, that he was cried. mistreated. I mean, if your wife cried that he didn't eat last night, who can verify? Mm -hmm. He just want to put your name in the public as a bad man. Okay. And as a man, you can't respond to such a thing. You can't go out there saying, no, no, mama watoto, alikula ilifa. What you are telling, you telling me, yeah. one, is that the mountain has bolted. Mountain is gone. Two, the deputy president yes. is not a deputy president. He's isolated. He's, he's a deputy, isolated. He's a deputy president for Nyeri County. For Nyeri County. Yes. He's going under the same pressure yes. William claimed to go through. Yes. Absolutely. And you are telling me, mm. Dindi Nyoro, mm. being the chairman of the budget committee, yes. uh, pending bills when they are paid, yes. he has to approve or it has to go he, through his committee he, yeah, it has and to. he'll prioritize yes. and therefore he gets money there to take to the constituency. Otherwise, the Honorable Cyrus, where would he get two million shillings to be spending on church functions on, alone every weekend? and hiring a chopper to ferry more than five MPs whom he give money to contribute towards his contribution. Which member of parliament would get that? We asked the same question for deputy president then. Mm. I was asking the same question in 2015. Mm -hmm. I was asking the same in 16, mm -hmm. 17, until uh, I almost fell out. Is the situation in central province, if William says today, okay, fine. Mm. Because William is not stupid, yes. he's an intelligent man. Yes. If he sat down and said no, mm. enough is enough. Yes. We are not going the way we are going. Mm -hmm. We are changing and we have to sort out things the way we promised. Is it possible to change the people of Mount Kenya? How would he undo the mess that has already happened? How would he unopen the businesses that have been closed? How would he return the taxes and impunity 
that he has orchestrated through KRE, how would he build the roads that have already caused so much damage for our people? How would he double the cost of coffee that has now become useless? How would he create a new market for macadamia, which is now being given uh, for people who are coming from outside Mount Kenya as gifts? If you come to a barrio in Mount Kenya, be sure you live with a kasuku of uh, macadamia. Macadamia is a very expensive nut. No longer. But they destroyed the market. They destroyed the market. Tea and coffee should be now a boom now that the dollar is the key. Now that the dollar is stronger than the shilling in far more area, uh, far more place than who left it. The farmer who sell in dollar should be feeling it. Are they? Who is selling our coffee? When they came in, they called everybody cartels. Mm -hmm. They said dynasty have been uh, buying coffee, milling coffee, marketing coffee, and selling coffee, but, and buying coffee. And that propaganda was there. People hated people. They said, milk is only a business of one man. We know him. We are to take a chini haraka. For the milk, we know it is one cartel. We will take it down. So farmers no longer have a place to take milk. Because the KCC, they promised they would buy the milk and process the milk and give them money, is no longer receiving milk from the farmers. Why? Because they have come up with other companies that are processing milk and buying it at lower prices but guaranteed pay. KCC buy at higher prices but they're not guaranteed the pay. So as a farmer, you would rather take your milk where you have a regular income even though it is small. Yeah. Otherwise, if you take to a company that gives you a lot of money but pays you after three months, you cannot sustain that cow. And remember, we are talking about peas and farmers. We are not talking about data farmers, substantial data farmers. Tell me deeply from the, heart, the depth of your heart. Yes. Where do you think we are headed as a country? We, are, we no longer have a country. You should read Biafra. There was once a country written by Chinua Chembe. There was once a country. A country. This is the story of Kenya. Which country is there? Whom do you meet positive about the country? This country is now the, the greatest power on the globe, America says you have the best president ever. Yes. Since independence. Yes. And uh, Kenyans have used America as a gauge <laughs> when Americans say you are sweet. Yes. Every Kenyan say you're okay. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm very sorry for for our country. Because uh, the new ambassador to Kenya, mm. Meg, Margaret Whitman, mm. is a, an astute business person mm -hmm. who has done so well mm -hmm. in her personal space mm -hmm. of uh, corporate uh, uh, profiteering. Mm -hmm. And then sent here as an ambassador. Mm -hmm. I think America, I will not say America think Ruto is the best president. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But let's say the ambassador sent here, whom we, people would say is a voice of America, sent here. I think for her, she's right. Mm -hmm. Because every business transaction and deal mm -hmm. that she wants transacted between America and Kenya, mm -hmm. she's getting it for free. Every oh, company, business. every company that wants to set offices here in Kenya, even without due process, that Margaret would want set up here. Ruto cannot ask a question. If Margaret wants to see Ruto, one call is enough. No other president in the Republic has been that accessible to diplomats. So she's right by saying Kenya has the best president in Africa since independence. But what she should finish in that statement is, in my own opinion. Mm -hmm. Because this is not the truth. Mm -hmm. Tell me. And it is not American opinion. Tell it me. is a personal opinion. It is her, I mean, I, and I know if we sat with her here, I would ask her to tell me, in honest, whether this is what State Department is saying, mm. whether this is what uh, Anthony Blinken thinks, mm. whether this is what Joe Biden thinks. Mm. Even uh, Kamara Harris, I don't think that's what she thinks. So the, actually, there are people saying in the street mm. that Kenya is lucky because its fifth president is a lady. It's fifth. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the American ambassador is the Kenyan president. You have seen it. <laughs> it's interesting. So this is what I'm picking from the streets. And I'm but Kenya is so lucky. I'm very popular. So people tell me things they cannot just speak.
But they have, they have told me Deep in your, from your heart. Yes. Tell me this. Mm. You know America well? Yes. You know Europe very well? Yes. You know IMF, you know World Bank. Mm. Is that the route to take if we are to make strides in ensuring that we turn our natural resources into job opportunities, into wealth opportunities, we turn the investment we have put in education into job opportunities, into development. Is that the route do, do, in your fair view? If you had a pen and a paper, I would want to ask that question and ask you. <laughs> and then I would write to you down there. Give me one country yes. in the global south yes. that rose from the ashes because of the benevolence of uh, Britain with the institutions. No, no, of course. Yeah, no, no. I mean, let's be also fair. For me. Okay. Not, not even for you. We are historians and we are intelligent men. Yes. One country in the global south, people should read Dead Weight. That aid is a dead weight. A book written by American economist. So yeah. this is it. Yes. I will answer you this question. Yeah. I told you, in my own opinion here now, because I don't want to invite you into my battles and wars. Yes. I believe you no longer have a country. We don't have a country. Yeah, this is my opinion. Do not have to agree with it because I want you to. But you say this lucky. Yes. It it has uh, it has uh, no not the first woman president. No, no. This is what they are saying out there. I, I told you now me what I think. This is what they are saying there. The fifth president of Kenya is a lady. That's what I'm telling you. That's what they are saying. We are lucky. We have broken the ceiling. Women should not continue crying. Mother Karowas should know that they, we have a lady president. The one uh, with the tools of power. So what I'm saying here is that Britain Woods institution were created out of a meltdown of economy as a Marshall Plan. Mm -hmm. Europe has had its time of meltdown of economy. Mm -hmm. America had its own time of depression. Mm -hmm. They did not rise out of an external power dictating no. how business is done. Mm -hmm. William Ruto in the hands of IMF and World Bank is a marionette. Mm -hmm. You know what is a marionette? Mm -hmm. When you are doing art and craft, mm -hmm. there are things you would make, mm -hmm. then under the table you can see something dancing, yes, yeah. but there's a guy moving, moving the, yeah, yeah, the legs and whatever. You could see uh, doing this. We used so, to have it and even <laughs> put on our <laughs> hand there. You are hitting here and they are dancing. And that is it. So yeah. William Ruto mm -hmm. is a caricature mm -hmm. in the powerful hands mm -hmm. of Bretton Woods institution. And I say this, Bretton Woods institution are not malicious per se. They do not wake up in the morning to destroy. No. But if you play in their hands without a plan, mm -hmm. without understanding, mm -hmm. and above all, Mwajimu Cyrus, without dignity of your own mm -hmm. you are bound to go wrong what should our people are, now you are telling me Kenya let me put this before you ask about yes. our people why would you do everything that you are told to do for you to get aid for you, I mean for you to, actually it's not aid it's even loans mm, it's loans it's money that you must give back why would you remove subsidies yani you mean Jomo Kenyatta you mean Daniel Moy mm -hmm. you mean Moy Wakibaki and Uhuru Kenyatta who are idiots. They are all idiots. Yeah. To put cushions against the poor. Because what is economy? Economy is a vague word mm. that operates for those who operate in its wheels. Mm. My mother in the village does not understand economy. Because even if economy collapsed, mm. it is not going to aid her food in the... In the at least they can afford food. Mm. They have a shelter in the village. Mm. All they do is to wait for the rain and use uh, the manure from their cows. And the hoe. And the hoe. So to them, economy is a big and abstract word. Mm. Why would you subject a country into the whims of IMF and World Bank? IMF and World Bank will never consider politics. They consider economy. And to them, economy is only profit. We will only give one billion here if we can get it. And they go ahead to tell sure, you. It is trend. Isn't it? They are yeah, trading. So yeah. they will tell you, this one billion, we can tell you where it is. Don't worry. Open for us. Your house, we enter. So they, when they sit down, they tell you, Sasa, you one billion here to get some cut. She did it. Come in your to live. I love you, Mavuta. Mavuta. Pacha, he tells you. Pacha, he tells you. 
kidogo eh na kwa sababu tunajua masaba hesabu mm. mafuta hapa inakunywa 1 million liters per month mm. 1 million times 10 shillings hiyo ni pesa gani pesa nyingi si ni 10 million mm. then times 12 is 122 billion hata tunamaliza pesa yetu natoka kuongeza ya yeah, yeah. so in a year you have paid this thing and we'll leave you with the rest mm-hmm. then when kwa another item mm-hmm. like that like that like you, you that. know but for you you do not know that you had cautioned you are you are you are poor people so that they can be able to do business and uh, subsidize fuel mm-hmm. so that the business they are doing can generate other taxes and income mm-hmm. for the government to mm-hmm. get if you don't think And, 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 and you know why you know why it gives everybody purchasing power yes and you, and you know why Ruto is failing badly in economy mm. is because he has only employed economic advisors who are Britain Woods alumni and also businessmen they are, they are okay. dealers uh, dealers not they dealers. Business. okay but although dealers. you can't accuse them of being a dealer mm. the president is the greatest, the greatest dealer mm. this is the first time mm. we are getting a dealer president everything is about what is in for us as you could mean me the word us is a shameful way of saying me it's yes. trying to hide so you are telling me yes. kenyans were badly hoodwinked they were conned what do you think do you think they can be conned again this is it let me talk about my people because uh, I you don't know other communities I, I, uh, but i find other communities fair enough when they tell me we could see that man through mm. so we did not uh, invest ourselves in him mm. so you that invested yourself in him mm. tell us are you going to get back are you going to be hit again mm. so they ask me these questions and i tell them eh uh, because you have been to mount kenya mm. and you know that place have you been a leader of our country for long mm. Uh, so I went to school there. Yes, and you also went to school. Uh, which school was that? Yeah, on the road. Ma- Mango. Yeah. Ah, very good. So Mango and you know Mango boys are not easy. They are, they are men, they are men uh, with some uh, let, let me say bones. Although I should say something different. <laughs> they are men with bones. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so our people mm-hmm. have a history of coming together mm-hmm. and allowing reason to prevail. Mm-hmm when they are under crisis mm-hmm. in the days of peace mm-hmm. in the days of relative panache mm-hmm. in the days of ambadans they become individuals our people are individualistic and they are protestant mm-hmm. when they are under siege call it they become a community yes call it culturally mm-hmm. call it economically mm-hmm. call it politically mm-hmm. they will come together and regardless of your money mm-hmm. regardless of your religious uh, swings mm-hmm. they not hear you mm-hmm. they know their leader that's how kibaki became their president mm. kibaki was the least mm. you are there yeah. he was the least among the kanu stalwarts mm. who would have been picked had he been still in kanu he would not have been picked no. by moi kibaki would not have been picked by 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 rainbow had they I don't know, he was offered the opportunity to come back to kanu and, and, he, refused. and uh, run, he refused yes because he knew he would not be given mm. they would have picked something different once they bring him back mm. they would pick somebody but kibaki because of his stellar performance and his past mm. people decided that this seems to be the man didn't he prove us right and he stood up against the briton woods mm. and told them we will work as equals and partners mm. we are not going to work as surrogates and in a very short time surrogates. he transformed the economy we, we became uh... so when we speak uh, in this show it is not that we have not considered the history mm-hmm. it is not that we have, we have not deeply thought about the affairs of our nation but we are speaking out of what it is what it is and, and what it can become so you are telling me ratified. the mountain what ruto should not think about it they are regretting having even uh, fingered the president former president they are regretting they are saying kavato ke wira uhuru meaning afadhali to ke muskiza uhuru because uhuru had told them i have worked with this deputy of mine mm. and you guys can see i have still kept him in the office mm. I, i have no problem with him mm. but just like moi said and you are there you know better mm. that kwa siasa uongozi mm. kuna urafiki ukifika ni uongozi hakuna urafiki yeah, there's something he told us i told him mm. in the in the kasarani yeah, kasarani kisirani yeah. I, i remember that kisirani yeah. kasarani yeah. that yes it's okay. it's okay we could be friends Cyrus. but we are talking about a, a country bigger, we are talking about a country which is bigger than all of us so that was moi mm. telling uh, people who are angling to succeed him the same history 22 years later mm. repeated itself mm. uhuru kenyatta told them mm. ruto is a friend of mine mm. tunaitanaga marafiki mm. 
lakini kwa kikifika ni uongozi wa inji mimi namjua sana and then he asked us in kikuyu between a father and children who knows the lady in between them more the one they call mother and the one i call wife yeah. who stands a chance of knowing my wife between me and children of course you are a man that is it mm. so when i tell you that my wife has tempers mm. okay that she can hit you with a uh, asufuria mm-hmm. if you are if you anger her i am mm. not wrong she has hit me many times mm-hmm. yeah nikikwambia huyu mama ni mtu mtulivu na mpenda amani mumwamini i am the husband i have been with her so believe me Uhuru came and told us those things. In our language is very sweet. But my brother I tell you they revolted against him. Why well, he had this failures also? Are you scared of talking about those no, failures? No, Uhuru yeah. was not uh, Uhuru was not rejected because of his failures. Mm-hmm. If he had personal weaknesses, all of us are sub- subject to them. Mm-hmm. But he was rejected because of where he was branded. Mm-hmm. But maybe what I like to think. Was to branded bana was a memory. Yes, young man and then they said he was uh, he was drinking. Mm-hmm. This one does not. Mm-hmm. Okay although now people are saying in the street afadhali siku za mulevi mm-hmm. yeah that's what I'm here I don't know what that means <laughs> but that's what they are saying kwa siku za mulevi maisha ilikuwa nzuri yeah. hii siku za muobaji yeah. tumeambiwa sisi wote tufuge mshipa the holy spirit <laughs> <laughs> the prophecy <laughs> whatever that means you can tell us mm-hmm. but uhuru if uhuru had a weakness that mm-hmm. perhaps made people revolt against him mm-hmm. maybe because, because I I am also acknowledge that uh, we also got to where we are by virtue was just not accessible wow. that's a word i yeah. wanted to say uhuru kenyatta suffered the wrath of his people not because of sins of commission no but the sins of omission mm. that they wanted to meet him they could not meet him mm. they wanted to talk to him they could not talk to him but the other guy opened and flung the door open anybody can come including uh, people coming with their own gifts mm. every thomas dixon and harrison went to carry so when i ambia the different will be telling me nini for 5 million no the 1 million no, versus no, the di- 12 no 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 the difference yeah. first of all we are likely to have uh, 20 million voters they just mm-hmm. because the young people are many and, and this I time i think everybody will come out and they will come out yes so let's say 20 million people will be registered as voters 18 million also, voters there's a problem uh, much more in the ibc mm-hmm. the ibc is 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 dangerously swinging mm-hmm. into chaos mm-hmm. because we have no chairman we have no commission mm-hmm. by elections that are pending mm-hmm. There are many regions that are not represented to date. Mm. They are not being represented because IBC is not in place and it works for William mm. because he will bring unqualified people and his loyalists and friends to us yet to solve the problem which will face opposition from the country and there might there begin a long term problem and crisis for the country. So I hope, the, I hope the I hope the fifth president can talk to him. So now this this is it. If 15 uh, 20 million people will be registered to vote 20 million will be registered to vote be sure 17 oh, so let me just I was slow a bit there yes you hope yes the fifth president can talk to ruto so who is a lady yeah so that can talk to ruto yeah so that he sees the crisis ahead oh, okay okay mm. i know you are, i know you love that <laughs> i suspect i have my suspicion <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> don't don't emphasize. I don't, I mean, I know uh, brother, William Ruto is the fifth not, president. If you, if you, have emphasis, you are saying the yes. fifth president will not, talk to him. Please, don't emphasize because you remember our friend died in the Nanadu. <laughs> no, nobody. The one, the one that they buried with a torch. Yes. On, you remember that yes, our friend Jacob. Yeah, yes. So I don't want to go into those uh, books. Yes. So don't emphasize. You uh, might make them realize what I'm saying. <laughs> no, And they can get me in my bed. <laughs> <That's And> not, <laughs> nobody is bothered about me. <laughs> What you like? Don't have any fear. So what I'm saying is out of 20 million voters that we may register, 17 million will come to vote. Yes. To be honest. Yeah. Out of 17 million, a portion. If Ruto gets 5, mm. out of 17 million voters, mm. if Ruto gets 5, mm. Ruto, mm. I will support him as an opposition leader. If he gets 5, you will vote you will vote for him. The one who wins, I will abandon him because I will have, of course I'll be in that part of 12 million yeah. but I'll abandon my one who have won and support him if he gets 5 million if he gets 5 million from where zaid challenges are about kenya no which mount kenya amupangwangi no no by the way i wish time can fly yeah. i wish mwezi mwezi time can fly 
so that you see this thing. This thing, you know, it's not what I want. Yeah. Of course, this is what I would want. Yes. I would want to William to be the first president in the Republic to become the first time. And thereon, maybe we recover some of things and the correct mistakes. Well, anyway, this is what I would want. Yeah. But there is what I would want and there is what there may be. I'm talking objectively about the state of our nation politics today. Where we, you have many networks across the country. Mm. To be honest, and don't confess here, mm. out of the 10 people you meet across the country, how many are with him, to be honest? Now, if I talk, yeah. then say I'm campaigning. That is it. Me, I'm just providing an opportunity, an opportunity for us to discuss. Even the people who are uh, watching us, mm. I hope they, 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 can, they can meet 10, mm -hmm. wherever place they live, mm -hmm. and ask out of the 10, how many people are with him? You know in Mount Kenya, I am told this one is not verified, so I'm just saying it's an opinion. Yeah. I'm told that he has been given uh, the newest uh, intelligence reports. Mm -hmm. As, uh, he was given uh, last week on Thursday, mm -hmm. yeah, the state of the mountain, mm -hmm. and then the state of the nation. Mm -hmm. So he was told mm -hmm. that in the country, he is at 21%. You have to tell me, 21%. okay, let me give you a secret. Yes. I was in uh, the Uhuru team. Yes. When we were challenging Kibaki. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would be advised mm. that you guys are 23%. That's what you are being told. We were being told that yes. by yes. intelligence. Yes. So you are telling me yes. that is the status today. I want to ask you, when you are, when elections came, what was your percentage? Of course. Uh, he just Uhuru had 1.8 million. Uh, which was which percent? Uhuru? About 20, 20 26. 26%. So are they wrong? No, they are not wrong. That so is I'm it. asking so you, what they are telling him. And is Raila, that the situation today? And Raila hmm. is rated at 28. Is so both of them, none of them can no, win. No, no, Kalonzo is rated at 13. Kalonzo 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are saying uh, Ruto is at 21. 21. Raila is at 28. 28. Kalonzo is at 13. 13. Yes. So none of, none of them can uh, be Nobody arrested. else has been, uh, I think it of was a targeted, it been was a targeted right. election. It was a targeted survey. survey. Yeah, to say only these four. Okay? So this is how it is. So Kenyans should start thinking of somebody else. If you join them, and you know Kalonzo has not left Raila. Mm -hmm. Neither has Raila left Kalonzo. But Kalonzo is uh, joining Gemma. He believes if he joins Gemma, the Mount Kenya people will vote for him to be the next president. When, uh, when the time comes, mm -hmm. Kalonzo is welcome in the mountain. Mm -hmm. That I can tell you today. Mm -hmm. He is welcome in the mountain. Mm -hmm. He is a friend of the mountain. Very good. He has stood with the mountain at a critical juncture mm -hmm. when the nation, when the Mount Kenya nation was being annihilated. Mm -hmm. So it's not that he is not a friend to the people. Mm -hmm. He is actually a friend to the mountain more mm -hmm. than any other politician right right now angling right. for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, other people were accused of the massacre that I do not want to mention. Mm -hmm. So if people can forgive people who have done things, mm -hmm. Kalonzo has done nothing for the people of Mount Kenya. So this is it. If you're asking, this. 28 and this 13 mm. is already 41. Mm. And this was a targeted uh, That's 50. Yeah, when two come when the two comes together, mm. there is something that is called premium vote. Mm. If you and I are on the same side, mm. and you get, get 20%, then I get 30. Yeah. That is 50. Mm. The day we go to the ballot together, mm. we will bring another vote that was not anticipated that, yes. for the unity. Mm. This is what is facing William Ruto. And now William is in far more danger. Mm. Because by losing his deputy, mm -hmm. who is already bolting out with his uh, utterances, mm -hmm. by losing uh, Moses Kuria, who is already sabotaging government from within, mm -hmm. these are people who helped him aggravate the vote. They mobilized the vote with their little tongues. Mm -hmm. Both had very little tongues. Mm -hmm. They demolished the Kenyatta family mm -hmm. with all the words possible in the world. Now, what has to conclude? Okay, to the extent of saying, yes. we can go and urinate in the compound of the uh, First, first lady. Yes. Okay. Moses Kuri is quoted as having said mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. So people said, now these are the heroes. Mm -hmm. They are finishing dynasties. Mm -hmm. These are the ones we want. They will defend the son of the poor. The child of the poor will be defended by these two sons of our. These two sons of ours have gone. They have already left him. So where do you want him to get good? Or do you have? What has to... happened? You know, um, you, I don't know why you're trying to convince me. Mm -hmm. I'm not yet convinced, but you're trying to. No, the truth will convince you. The... <laughs> The eagerness yes. and the strength yes. and the oomph yes. of feeling I'm in power yes. in one vice president, uh, deputy president Kachagwa, yes. seems to have been deflated. Mm -hmm. He is not you... talking about okay. our company anymore. Very good. Is he talking about us anymore? He is not talking about us anymore. Why? 
What has happened? He was told to go and collect some firewood to continue feeding the company's fire. Then they locked the door. They told him to pass it on the window. <laughs> and this is what he has been doing, bringing all the logs through the window. Uh -huh. And he's, it is very cold out there. And he can hear thunderstorms and lightning. The rains are coming. And they not open the door. Inside so who there, is this that he has opened? You want to there, tell me the replacement is Lindinyoro or... In Kiabu, he's already grooming. Uh, or is it Aumusage Mundabadi? No, no, no. Uh, well, if it has been the mountain, he has choices. Mm -hmm. If it has been out of the mountain, he has choices. Mm -hmm. yeah, even within the mountain, in Kiambu alone, he's dividing... Or Aumusage uh, Mundabadi. Yes, yes. Rutos, we, 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 Rutos we, we, ultimate plan. We are there on the table also, that is it, on Rutos temple. Eh? That is it. But yeah. you see, if, if he gives you a good deal, you can consider. Ruto has a strategy. Either Mount Kenya is with him or is with nobody. Mm -hmm. If it is not with him and is not with nobody, then he must make it a useless voting block. How does he manage that? That is his strategy. By making it segregated. Kiabu should vote for Kemani Shonga. He will sponsor some of these people to buy for president. Mm -hmm. Nyoro should be the candidate that they vote for in Nyeri. In, in mm -hmm. He will leave the, the Gachago for Nyeri. He will go to Mount Kenya East and pick Kindiki and the Nturi, whom he has just saved. Yeah. So he has cheated to all of them that they are going to be his potential. Yeah, people are not foolish. Okay. People will see this divide and rule. No, no, but people are very sharp people. The mountain are very intelligent. Well, people. well, that's what you like to think. Until money comes in. When money comes in and hatred and protest comes in, it cannot happen. Mo but succeeded. you can't. That is a very cheap lie. No, he succeeded in that cheap lie. No, he gave but us even, even when. Uh, no, no, no. Matiba and Kibaki. Yeah. People went, you know, people who loved Matiba will go for him. Yes. People who loved Kibaki went for him. Moi got 1.9 in 92. Mm -hmm. Then Kibaki got one, uh, Matiba got 1.7. Mm -hmm. Kibaki got 1.5. Mm -hmm. Oginga got 1.3. Mm -hmm. Kibaki and Matiba combined. They would have beaten us thoroughly. So this is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He managed, I cannot understand. So I hope. But you are saying people this is not early. Your people, your people are intelligent enough this is why I'm to see speaking, such a trap. This is why I'm telling them it's a trap. Yes. But don't believe it's a trap. It's so easy. Mm. These people are being given money. I'm telling you one man can be given a billion shillings for roads. That but the Kikuyus are the richest people. That's what they say. Uh, yeah, how can you, somebody just be given yesterday's money you know, and all of a sudden subjects you to suffering of many the, years? The richest man in this country is a, is a Muhindi. Mm -hmm. And the poorest is a Kikuyu. I don't believe so. Well, it's, uh, find out. I'm just telling you that darkness is the other side of light. Where I come from, somebody can die and it can take even three, four, five weeks before they raise enough money to buy wood for a coffee. Very good. Somebody can die in parts of Mount Kenya and there is no money to buy a sheet to wrap it. Who is poor? <laughs> you are buying wood when you can cut down trees in uh, Mount Elgon. You can just concord something. For us, we are talking about sheep because there are no trees, no lands. Lands have been. But you are Mount Kenya forest. Land have been. You can't go to a Mount Kenya forest to cut. You also can't go to Mount Elgon forest. Well, I'm saying at least in Western there are some sizable trees. People have planted trees better than us because we have no land to plant trees. Where you plant trees, you plant them. What is the way forward with this country? The way forward. Mm -hmm. The way forward. Mm -hmm. And these are put there without saying mm -hmm. uh, a word. Uh, I, have, I, I studied political science and economics mm -hmm. in the university. Mm -hmm. And then uh, seven years later, I studied uh, law. Mm -hmm. So I'm a trained lawyer mm -hmm. and a trained political scientist. Mm -hmm. I would want to put aside my biases mm -hmm. and now put a prognosis of our nation mm -hmm. as a part of it. My advice to the people who are watching us is to remember that we are here because our parents were. For we sure. have become what we are because the men who came before us sacrificed. We have become a nation guided by constitutional order and abundance and unity because of the sacrifices made by men who came before us. <clears throat> The men who went to the forest to eject the colonialists mm. did not go to the forest so that they would live well. No. They went to the forest so that their children could live well. Could live well. Mm. Those children assumed the reins of power mm. and began the nation building. Mm. 
they did what they did, including building schools in Harambe, your Shoshu, your mothers, are the ones who build schools in Western. Mm. They would contribute to what they had, mm. whether it is a stone, whether it is one uh, cement or bags of cement. An egg. An egg. They would give chicken so that they are so mm. to build schools. Mm. Hospitals were built by the sweat of our mothers mm. so that their children would access better health. Mm. There comes a time, Mwajimu mm. and Cyrus, when we must tell our people that the colonialist was not more of a person than an ideology. It was an ideology of suppression, mm -hmm. repression, mm -hmm. and lutocracy. Mm -hmm. The kind of looting mm -hmm. that was done by the white man, mm -hmm. expropriating gold and diamonds and oil and everything and that wood existed in Africa is the one that have built Europe, mm -hmm. the one that have built uh, America. Mm -hmm. Today, as we talk, we have new colonialists who are looting every possible coin. Mm. And their folly mm. is that they are putting that money in already developed countries. That's what it is. Yeah. They are taking money where it is not needed. Mm. If these people die, the Arabs and the Europeans will never bring that money back. They will appropriate that money through a legal principle called bona vacantia. Mm -hmm. This is a state wealth. Mm. And that money will be used to build hospitals, to improve railways, to improve airports, to build a stadia, and to give welfare to their people. In the Arab world and in Europe. And in Europe. So this is what I would want to ask our people. We are enjoying relatively what we enjoy, including unity and peace, because our parents made a sacrifice to do what is right and deny themselves pleasure. If you look at our country today, who would want to inherit their children a country like Kenya has become? No one. Who would want their children to live under mediocrity that has been exacerbated by the current leaders in the state house, in governors, in the courts, and in the parliament? Who would want a parliament like Parliament of Kenya to represent them and their children? It's a, par it's a, it's a, it's a parliament that is easily bought. People are shameless in saying you are given money in the toilet so that we can vote for sugar that had been condemned as possible cancerous sugar. Which country are we inheriting our children? What do we bequeath our children? The the time is coming. Every one of us must answer. Every one of us, wherever we are, must answer. And the question is this, that they must answer. Is the country going right? The, if the answer is no, we must ask ourselves, why? If the question is a question of leadership, mm. then we must ask ourselves, what is next? Mm. The next year must be self-internalization programs mm -hmm. that determines the right leader. From Lugari to Kigumo to Muranga, Nairobi, Mombasa, wherever. I tell you, Mweshimiwa, we have good leaders. We have people who care for the nation. So. We have people who know the template for developing a country. But we have allowed what we call today kakistocracy to reign on Kenya. Kakistocracy is a type of democracy. It's being called in uh, the fair language Togege, Togege Nzi. We have heard that word. Mm -hmm. That there are people who are called Togege somewhere. Mm -hmm. The democracy that breeds such is called Kakistocracy. Mm -hmm. Kakistocracy is the rulership of the least of men and the most vagabond in any society. We have a chance with the destiny in 2027 mm -hmm. to do what is right. And let's not be guided by money. Let us not be guided by religion. Let us not be guided by tribe. Let us not be let us not be hoodwinked. We now know them. They came with sheep's clothing. But how wolves? They came with Bwana Usemia. Thank you so much. All the women were saying what is what a man. Yeah. <laughs>